This video is about an extremely simple circuit, the non-stable multi-vibrator circuit, and it has to do with start problems. So when you make such a circuit, it's possible that the circuit fails. Uh, I made this circuit here uh, in case of a capacitor tester. I uh, needed uh, an oscillator that worked on a very high frequency, let's say something between 15, 50 kilohertz and uh, 200 kilohertz. So I made this circuit, it's also in my books, and I used two 1 nanofarad capacitors. But um, I found that on this high frequency and given the used transistors, it didn't want to start. And that is always or uh, often a problem with uh, these types of oscillators. Here you see the BD137 power transistor. I needed somewhat power to uh, make the capacitor test circuit working. So I use a small power uh, transistor, approximately 3 watt or so. And here you see the transistors, oh, sorry, the resistors connected to the collector, 1K and 120 ohms. And there are some peculiar situations in which the whole circuit doesn't want to start. And I found that the circuit always starts when I make this uh, button switch uh, connected from the base, from the first transistor, to the negative. So I want to demonstrate it now. Uh, this is the circuit in real. I'm going to connect now the positive lead 4.6 volts to the circuit. And here you can see that the whole circuit does not want to start. And this is the supply voltage, 4.3 volts. I raised the supply voltage now, but it looks as if, as if the circuit is locked in a certain electronic position. It doesn't want to oscillate. Even at 9.0. Point zero volts. But when I uh, con make this connection from the base here, from the first transistor to the negative lead, I make it by this wire, the black wire, the circuit suddenly starts. And here you see the waveform. So it's a sort of start button. And I have to say that this only happens when I use the 1K uh, resistor here in the collector emitter lead. And when I use the 120 ohm resistor, the whole circuit starts uh, very quickly. So now I go to the 120 ohms resistor and again you can see that it doesn't want to start the oscillator at uh, let's say 8 volt. I raise the voltage somewhat to 12 volt or so and it doesn't matter much, it doesn't want to start. But when I tip uh, the black wire here to the negative lead, it suddenly starts. So it all has to do with the way that the whole circuit, circuit is dimensioned. So is there enough uh, positive voltage here in a certain situation and here? 
So you have to do some experiments to make these uh, circuits uh, usable, even uh, when they are very simple. So my advice is do some experiments. Um, for instance, uh, lower the voltage here in the emitter circuit, lower the uh, resistance value here, uh, change the values from these two uh, base resistors. Uh, they add a lot to the functioning of the circuit. And uh, uh, do experiments. That's my advice. You will always get it working when you do have done some experiments and have found the ideal situation in which uh, both transistors in this multi-vibrator circuit work properly.